بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so now the next thing we'll try to see how we can uh, set up the cisco ice image inside the gen inside the event like uh, if you're doing it on the gns3 then basically you will be downloading the appliance application and then uploading the particular drive that's something we have seen in the gns3 now here we'll see on the eveng how we are going to do so i just have the eveng login and i have the new lab as you can see when i click on the right click on the node and if I select the Cisco eyes, you can see the Cisco eyes image is already preloaded. So I'm going to quickly show you how exactly you do that. It's going to be the same process as if you are doing most of the other devices, whether it is an iOS or IOU, IOU or any of those images, or even the Firepower, the sd images, it's the same thing. So you need to make sure that you have this image uh, downloaded. So here I'll be using the three dot version. Uh, this is the image. And this is the folder or the file which is already downloaded here. And, and this is something already inside my local drive. So make sure that you have downloaded this file and open up the WinSCP again. And on the WinSCP, make sure that you are in this path. Uh, make sure that you are going to, if I just go back. So make sure that you are inside this option. So slash OPT, and then we need to go to unit lab. And under that, we need to go to add-ons. And here under the KMO, we need to drag and drop the file. Now, this is the location where exactly the local drive. You can just locate the file inside your local drives and uh, simply drag and drop this particular folder exactly here. So I'm not going to do that because it's already there. And again, the uploading process, it's going to take some time. And as you can see, there are specific images already present here. Similar way, you can also find the exact image which is already copied. So make sure that you use the same uh, folder name without any changes. Uh, whatever the image which I'm, which is available here, you can if you're using the same image. And once you do this, the uploading process will be done. I'm going to quickly show you how you do this. Let me just drag and drop. I'm not going to drag and drop this one. I'll try to use the other version. Let's say I'm going to use this eyes uh, version 2.7. So I need that uh, format file which is supported. Okay, so so here, uh, as you can see, this is the file version what I'm using. I'm going to simply drag and drop. Okay, so anyway, it's already there. It's saying I'm not going to do that. So it's going. I'm going to cancel that one. Now, once you upload this file, you will see the file will be uploaded probably around 10 to 15 minutes it takes, depending upon the processing speed of your device. And once it is done, you can go to the browser where you have the eVNG login. You can right click on the node and you can simply select the Cisco Eyes device. And if you have multiple images, you can select any one of the image from here. So I have this three dot version. And the image, the default, it, it uses this icon, the default RAM, I'm going to set the default interfaces and click on save. Now, once you click on save, we can start this device. Now, once I start this device, I should be able to get into the CLI. Now here, the CLI, it uses the VNC viewer. So if the VNC viewer is already integrated, it works fine. Like here, I don't have that integration here, so I can directly open up with VNC, where you need to enter the exact IP address. So the IP address is 192.168.1.17. You can see it here in the browser. And likewise, if you move the cursor, you can see the port here on the left side corner here. So if you just move on, you can see the port is 6437. And you can see this is the login it shows up. Now, this is how it looks for the first time when you're getting to the CLI. So it's a kind of a simple and straightforward process and almost the same process as you normally do with most of the devices on the EVNG.